Hello everyone, Rachel here from Binder POS. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to market current sales that you have going on as well as upcoming product releases. There are a lot of product releases coming in the next few months, so I thought this would be a good time to highlight some ways that you could market product releases. And a lot of these ways actually carry over to ways that you could market current sales that you have going on. So let's get started. The first way that you can market product releases and current sales is by utilizing your website. As mentioned in my last video, the slider on the homepage is a great place for you to put banners that can draw attention to product, product releases that are coming up, and current sales that you have going on. Here's a couple examples of what a banner that is advertising a product release and a banner that is advertising a sale could look like. As shown here, they're marketing Monarch First Edition. As you can see, they have the pre-order today. Marketing the product release, this is a great way to get interest and orders in as you're leading up to the product release. Next, as you can see here, they have put together multiple products at a lower price and they're advertising that sale. The second way that you can market product releases and current sales is by utilizing your social media platforms. In order to reach as many customers as possible, make sure that you are posting consistently on social media, advertising current sales and product releases. It's important to note that with current sales, you should be posting consistently as the sale is going on. For product releases, you should be posting consistently leading up to the product release advertising when the product will be available. Last but not least, make sure that every post that you post on social media has a call to action to either the page for the current sale that's going on or a page for people to pre-order or express interest in a product that hasn't been released yet. Here's some examples of what this could possibly look like for Facebook posts. You can also market product releases and current sales with email marketing. Email is a very effective way to drive customers to your website, especially when a deal or product release is advertised correctly. Some things to note, with sales emails, again, you're going to want to hit them hard as the sale is going on. So you can email them up to once a day or every other day as the sale is going on. Again, including a call to action, driving them to the page where they could purchase the item that you are having a sale on. For product releases, you're gonna wanna email them leading up to the product release. You don't wanna do this too far in advance. When you're a little bit further out, you can email them maybe once a month about the release. And as you get closer, you can inch that up to once a week. Eventually, about two weeks, three weeks out, you can inch that up to once a day or every other day marketing a product release. Here's an example of what each of these emails could look like. As you can see here, we're advertising those crates again. This is a deal where multiple products are put together for a price lower than they would be. And at the bottom here, we have the call to action, bringing them to the page where they can purchase the sale. Next, we have this email. This is for a pre-order. As you can see, they're advertising a date in the future, letting them know that this date is coming up. And again, call to action, bringing them to the page where they can pre-order the product. Once you've taken care of those three marketing steps, the final piece to the puzzle is marketing at your physical store location. This is probably the simplest of all the marketing steps. It is as easy as hanging signs and posters around your store that advertise either the current sale that you have going on or the upcoming product release. There are two things to note when it comes to marketing at your physical store. First, hang posters and signs in the areas of your store that have the highest foot traffic. Second, with that in mind, Make sure that you're hanging these signs and posters in the area of your store that are related to the product that you're advertising. 
So if you're advertising a Pokemon release, make sure that these posters are posted in the Pokemon section of your store. If you're marketing a Magic the Gathering product release, make sure that you're hanging those posters in the Magic the Gathering section of your store. In many ways, the same marketing strategies can be used for both current sales and product releases. The main point to take away is that with sales, you want to focus your marketing efforts as the sale is going on. With product releases, you want to focus your marketing efforts leading up to the product release. I hope that these ideas have you thinking about ways that you're gonna market upcoming product releases. If you're looking for more marketing advice, as always, make sure you tune into our video next week. But in the meantime, you can check out our ultimate marketing guide for local game stores in the comments below. Until next week.